Greetings and salutations. I am your humble Adobe instructor, AJ Wood. Thanks for joining me for another Tip Tuesday. Last week, we took a look at some Photoshop tricks using the Option or the Alt key. This week, I'm proud to announce that I am your NAP evangelist. That's right, NAP is the National Association of Photoshop Professionals, and it's where everyone goes to learn some Photoshop. I'm not just a member and a contributor, I'm someone who can share the benefits of NAP membership with you. This week I'll kick off a giveaway. One lucky person is going to win a one-year membership to NAP or a free DVD. Now it's up to you to decide, so go to ajwood.com Facebook to sign up and get all the details which I'll give out later this week. For this week's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a quick rock texture inside of Photoshop CS5. Now, if you're on an Apple computer, you'll need to run Photoshop CS5 in 32-bit mode. If you don't know how to set up Photoshop to run in 32-bit mode on your Mac, go ahead and click this annotation, which will jump you to my quick tutorial for today on how to set that up. For everyone else running Windows, let's go ahead and jump on in. You can see on the screen in front of you that I already have a document created. And what I'm going to do first is create a new layer. Now you can click the new layer icon, or you can simply press Command Option Shift N, which would be Control Alt Shift N on a PC. Once I have the new layer, I'm going to use the lasso tool and just kind of draw out some sort of free form selection. Once I have this selection in place, I'm going to change to the Channels panel. And what I'm going to do here in the Channels panel is simply click on the icon that says uh, Save Selection as a Channel. And what I'm presented with is something labeled Alpha 1. Now if I click on this, it's going to make it active. And I'm going to rename this by double-clicking the text. And I'll call this Rock Texture. Once I have it labeled, I'll go ahead and reload my standard RGB channels. I'm going to flip back over to the Layers panel, and I'm going to rename Layer 1 Rock. You'll notice through this whole process I've left the selection up, and this is because I'm going to start running some filters in that selected area. I'll start actually by going back to the channels, and I'm going to select my Rock Texture channel. Notice I've left the selection on the screen, and I'll go to the Filter menu and simply go to Render and Clouds. Now, you could go back to the Filter menu and choose Command-F. Remember, Command-F lets you repeat the last filter. You could run Clouds several times until you get a texture and a look that you like. Okay, I think for myself that's going to work pretty good. So then I'll load back up the RGB channels, go back to the Layers panel, and here I am on the Rock layer. Now at this point, I need some sort of color inside that area. So I'm going to use the Gradient tool. I'm going to grab the Gradient tool, and I'm going to pick just the standard copper color today. I'm going to set it as a linear gradient and just drag across my Rock layer. This is just going to put some color in that area, and now I'm ready to go to the Filter menu, under Render, and I'm going to choose Lighting Effects. Now I'm going to pause here. If you're on an Apple computer and you've just gone to the Filter menu and that menu item, Lighting Effects, is not available, you're still running Photoshop CS5 in 64-bit mode. So remember, click on the annotation above and you'll get the quick tutorial on how to change Photoshop CS5 into 32-bit mode. I'm going to go ahead and choose Lighting Effects and what I want you to see here is I'm presented with a dialog box and I can rotate my light, make it brighter, pull it apart, push it closer together, narrow this little beam of light that I have. And the key thing to making this effect work is this section down towards the bottom that says Texture Channel. I'm going to go ahead and open this up and you'll see my rock texture, that alpha channel I saved, is in this list. And once I choose that, notice how it gives me kind of a beveled, indented look. You can control this by using the mountainous slider. So if I want it to appear more flat or more mountainous, I can change that. I can also move the light around and make some other additional changes. I'll go ahead and just brighten this up a little bit. 
and move this somewhat. Think that'll work. I'll go ahead and click OK. And now we've got our rock texture. It's at this point I'll go ahead and do Command or Control D and deselect. All right, what I can do next is simply take this layer and apply my blending options. So I'll go ahead and add a drop shadow to it. And I want you to see that I'll add a bevel and emboss. What I can do is change some of the properties. So I'm going to change the technique to be chisel hard. All right, I'll go ahead and play with the size. Here you can see the depth is changing. And if I wanted to, I could change the overall depth to this just a little bit. And now I've got a drop shadow and I've got some texture and a bevel and emboss. If I click OK, I want you to see that I could use my eraser tool. And if I simply grab an eraser shape, you can see as I carve the rock, It gives me different looks there. So now I've got kind of a rock shape. Right, I can also add a type layer if I wanted to. And if I go ahead and add a type layer, I could click on the rock, put in some text, scale the text, of course. And now if I just add some layer styles to my text, give it an inner shadow, maybe also a bevel and emboss that's now pointed down. Also chiseled if I want. Change the depth a little bit. Right, maybe add a little bit of a gradient for some shading. And the key thing here for my carving into my rock, once again I'll use fill opacity which we've looked at in previous tutorials. And by dropping the fill opacity, uh, you can see the rock texture there. So this has been a quick way to make a rock texture inside of Photoshop. Hey, if you want to join the National Association of Photoshop Professionals, be sure to go to ajwood.com nap. And if you use the promo code AJWOOD, you'll get a discount on your membership fee as well as a free tutorial DVD. So once again, thank you for joining me this week, and I'll see you next time.